Right there you see an inverted crucifix on the symbol of Hill and the Buddha on the walk on the way into the town center, the town hall, the pyramid. Um it's also got there's one there. <clears throat> that's not so prominently inverted. That's in the middle of the town. There's another one above the library. That's not so prominently in inverted. That one there, not so prominently, maybe. But the one as you walk into the border. Give you a name or your card number or something. Yeah, you probably have to okay, do it. Okay, and you can see it. It's clearly inverted. Now that might not be so significant. If there wasn't, just as you got in past the inverted, the inverted crucifix, you got pagan sun worship. You see the pagan sun worship, the sun and the moon. That's a place where people go for help. Now, there's lots of children in there as well. The most vulnerable segments of society. Now, normally when you see an inverted crucifix, it usually means some sort of witchcraft or not Christian anyway. I thought this was Christendom. This is supposed to be Christendom. But there it says, Welcome to Narnia. Narnia underneath the. Narnia is witchcraft. Hocus pocus and all of that sort of shit. But that's anyway, that's the, the, the healing encounter on the way in. A lot, of, a lot of children go in there and they don't come back out for whatever reasons. I can say, I can say that because one time they tricked me into signing a piece of paper <coughs> and they robbed my daughter, and I haven't seen her since, really. You know, so that's just how I put that up there. So when you're walking into the and you're stepping over an inverted crucifix, an inverted crucifix is usually a sign for witchcraft and Satanism, and in Ireland. The symbol of the sun is linked to the two of the Danon, who are witches, black magic, a tribe that existed of witches. King James would have butchered everyone in that, um, everyone in that. He would have dragged all the, all the staff out, anyone that walked in there, King James, the Christian king. <coughs> he would have done a witch hunt in there, especially since they're around children and stuff like that, you know. That's just a fact. I'm just stating the facts here. You'll make of it what you will. But, um... That's what you're looking at when you go into Uxbridge town. The thing that makes it a bit suspect is that one of the cru the crucifix out in the middle of the town, the cross out in the middle of the town seems to be even enough. But the one right in outside the door, it's clearly inverted. Now, I don't I don't think that any of the Christian knights who were fighting under the banner of Christianity would have fought under the banner of an inverted crucifix. So there's something, someone deliberately went out of their way to invert the crucifix, it's not a mistake, especially because you see the sun worship and the pyramid, the places of pyramid, so there you go.